guys, how you doing? Hey, uh, I just got some more insight on that September 23rd, uh, 2017, you know, and uh, the uh, um, planetary alignment and all this, um, you know, with the nine planets and stuff. Um, uh, the whole thing about that was Revelation 12 that everybody brings up on that about the woman being pregnant and then the dragon trying to kill the baby or something like that. And then um, a long time ago, um, we're well, actually talking, you know, as I mentioned last time about a um, rabbi friend of mine that mentioned that um, that was uh, Jesus' birthday and um, also the, the Feast of Trumpet uh, would be a perfect time where Jesus comes back because that's his birthday. Uh, and he uh, explained about the Torah and all this stuff that he studies a lot about. And then also that it's uh, 7,000 years complete and then you know there's a lot of prophetic things about numbers about seven meaning uh, complete and then eight stands for like the new day kind of thing you know. Um, and also uh, <clears throat> a thousand years reign you know where, where uh, people talk in the rapture where <clears throat> you know we get caught up and then all the hell breaks loose you know um, after that there's a thousand year reign of Christ up there I'm not sure exactly some say it's about a year or something and then then those happens or what I don't know <clears throat> but you know the interesting thing also is that uh, I guess the key part the insight what I'm trying to say is is the the woman being pregnant so obviously everybody is concluding on, on the the 23rd in Revelation 12 meaning something's about to be birth and something big so it's something big that's gonna happen uh, that the whole world's gonna see so and another insight thing I just want to bring up also is that I heard also <clears throat> the, the uh, planetary alignment uh, will be seen in Israel so I don't know if the whole world can see it but Israel so it's assigned to, to Israel what's going on <clears throat> so I don't know exactly anyways if the rapture happens uh, that'd be great you know um, I know a lot of people uh, um, been saying the rapture and all this and nothing happens and stuff so I don't want to put a date on everything because then if it don't happen it'll happen but we know the rapture is going to happen sometime so if the rapture does happen that'll be a perfect time um, but if it doesn't happen this is the, the another analogy that that I guess uh, concluded because it's birthing something so could could it be maybe the antichrist is being born or being powered or something you know uh on that day i don't know because also the other aspect is uh i've been talking to other people and uh people that that don't even know the lord you know they, they they're saying like the like the pope is like the false prophet or the antichrist i, I don't think he's the antichrist but i think maybe he could be like the false prophet you know um, in revelation where it says that you know it says that there's a religious leader that that um, is going to be a tool of the antichrist and stuff another weird thing and, and this one just kind of threw off uh, the left sh shelf on this one here but um, I also heard from a preacher well-known guy uh, he is on TV and everything and he knows the word and everything if I mention a name you probably recognize his name and so I don't want to say that, but uh, he mentioned that like Trump is like the Cyrus in the Bible. And I heard a couple people have said that, that Trump is like the Cyrus, you know, the Bible. Well, Cyrus is, is, is a, a righteous person that uh, brings justice and so forth. But also, which is the weird thing that a lot of people don't know, and what I heard this uh, uh, person say, and, uh, he said that uh, that Cyrus also is the one who brings in the third temple being rebuilt and you all know about the third temple the third temple is what uh, the Jews want to go back into like the uh, sacrifices and all this stuff and um, as you know the scriptures and revelation when they start doing that that's gonna usher in the Antichrist and stuff like that well I know for fact uh, 
they are planning on building the, the third temple, and, and I did a broadcast on that. Uh, the Jews are actually have plans for that, and they're running fundings for that, so they really want to do that, and it's actually happening as we speak. <laughs> Another weird thing is that I believe I heard that they found the red heifer, and that's part of the sacrifice thing that they want to do. So, uh, it's uh, what's weird about this whole thing is that everything, all the cards are in place, you know, um, which is weird, you know. So, I mean, usually when, when the rapture and all this stuff happens, there's always some kind of uh, piece that is missing, but it seems like all the pieces are there, you know. And uh, so, so you got the 7,000 7, years, which is, you know, like almost complete. And then you've got uh, this alignment happening, Jesus' birthday, and Rabbi saying that that's where a perfect time where Jesus is going to come back. So it's, it's his birthday, and then it's also time for him to come back again, which is kind of ironic. But also, that happening, but then the, the Antichrist will, will rise up. I, I don't know, I, think, I personally think the Antichrist is already here, but he hasn't really fully reigned in power. I could be wrong, it's just my opinion. But anyways... So that happening, and then you got the false prophet, you know, and um, also, which is weird, is the uh, you have the rebuilding of the temple, you know, the third temple and all this stuff. So uh, it's kind of it's kind of ironic and, and kind of weird with all this thing happening. Uh, another thing, uh, someone mentioned to me that saying, well, you know, you got to have the, the two weaknesses and stuff like that. Well, you know what? The two weaknesses, according to scripture, they're, they're um, Elijah for sure. But then some saying it's Moses. Some people saying it's Enoch. I heard one person saying that it's uh, actually Enoch because he was translated. He never died. And Elijah never died. He was, he was carried up in a whirlwind. So these are the two people that, that never died and, and they were just taken away. They were like transported or something like that. And um, yeah, the Lord can do that. The Lord can actually transport people and, and all this stuff. And uh, after all, he says that he's the Alpha and the Omega, right? So he's the first and last. So he can do whatever he wants. Um, <clears throat> so that whole thing about the Doctor Who thing, yeah, it's possible. The Lord can do that. But anyways... My personally uh, hunch is that I believe it's um, Enoch and uh, Elijah. But anyways, uh, so uh, they can uh, all of a sudden appear, you know, in flesh form and, and uh, do all the stuff when, when the church is gone. I There's another also uh, other people saying that we're going to go through the tribulation and all this stuff. There's no rapture and all this stuff. So we're all going to suffer and all this stuff. I don't know. I personally don't think so because I think of Noah's Ark being escaped. I think of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah and, and a few were, were taken away before the destruction. And um, I don't know. That's my opinion anyway. But uh, so so you have this uh, date coming in and everybody thinking the rapture is going to happen or uh, the Antichrist is going to reign power or whatever. Um, so it's kind of interesting because the whole key thing is the birth thing again. So uh, uh, just mark your calendar and, and we'll see what happens. You know, if nothing happens, uh, obviously something happens in the spirit. So uh, uh, I'm not saying that I'm denying something's going to happen, but I just don't want to be the one saying it is happening and don't happen. So, but something weird and it seems like a lot of people have have uh, came occlusion with this uh, 23rd thing too. Also, another weird thing I just throw out as well is that it just seems it just seems weird that like a lot of the mighty prophets. You mean I'm talking about like John Paul Jackson and and like Ken Clement and all that, and uh, some other people have been taken away. They're gone, you know. So could it be maybe that uh, you know they're not here because the Lord's going to come and they figured well you know we'll give them a. Uh, kind of a, a reserve seat or a VIP thing, you know, before the rapture thing happened, they come home because uh, work's been done, kind of thing. I don't know that 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 kind of kind of kind of came in my left field as well on thoughts like that because I know prophecies. Uh, some people, a lot of people, have heard this too. Like John Paul Jackson, he's considered like the uh, end tide prophet, you know. And even I've heard him said 
that uh, he's gonna be here when when uh, the tribulation happens and he's gonna uh, help or whatever or preach or something like that but um, he was taken away as you know so uh, uh, it, you know it just seems like something's going on for sure and of course there's other people like uh, other people that I'm gonna not gonna mention names that believe that we're gonna be here another 50 years or, or more or who knows I don't know but uh, uh, I hope not you know because it just seems like the world's just getting even more wickeder technology you know we've got already we I mean we already got the you know the chip and all this stuff people have been talking about the mark of the beast and all that you know that's already that's already like technology is already done you know so so we have that already that capability so uh, there's so much things you know and the beheadings and all that stuff and the worlds uh, the the wars and uh, and the weather and also I just throw this out too also as well <laughs> a lot of people talking about the planet X and the uh, Nebrew and all this stuff uh, did you know in the Bible it also talks about uh, a huge meteor that's gonna hit as well so I don't know if you people have heard that part but it's called wormwood according to the Bible some people call it Wormwood, some people call it Nebru, some people call it Planet X, you know. Uh, but it is in the Bible as well, so uh, so you can't throw that one out the book, you know, as far as uh, people seeing that. So there's been people seeing like, uh, um, you know, like two suns and all this stuff, and some people deny it, some people think it is real and all this stuff, but then why is it still there, you know, so obviously something's happening and, I, and there was an article I think it was about a year ago or, or yeah probably a year ago where NASA actually uh, came up and said there is a, a another planet you know and, and a lot of believe it's Nibiru and stuff so 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 that whole theory about uh, the big um, asteroid that's supposed to hit is it's supposed to be as well because that's called Wormwood and you can look that up in the scripture so so there's a lot of a lot of cards on the table. The only thing that's gonna miss is that if Jesus decides not to do it, you know, and and we all know that uh, God can change His mind. And so I heard some people say, "Well, God doesn't change His mind." Yes, He does. I mean, He did that with uh, Hezekiah. You know, it was His time to die, and then He repented and prayed, and then God gave Him another 14 years, I think, uh, according to prophets. So. And he did the same thing with Nineveh, you know, he changed his mind instead of destroying that city. So God does change his mind, I believe that. So he can do it at the last minute, decide, well, you know, I'm not going to come this time. I'm going to wait for a bit, you know. So that's possible. Um, the other theory, people are saying, well, you know, uh, the Lord's not going to come because, uh, you know, we haven't had a glorious church and all this stuff. You know what? There are so many Christians and so many people... Uh, in the uh, behind the scenes that are getting saved and stuff like that and you know what the reality is that not everybody is going to get saved I hate to tell you that but you know that's what you call the dark and the light I mean the world's going to be even darker and the, the light's going to be lighter and then another thing is that why would uh, the scripture talk about the narrow gate you know he said broad is is the world or whatever but then enter the narrow gate that means the small way so uh, so not a lot of people are going to be saved, brothers and sisters. So um, I got to tell you that, you know, so uh, I don't know. So let's look and see what happens. If there's any more insights, I'll let you guys know. But that's what I got. So this whole birth thing, uh, could it be the Lord coming or it could be the Antichrist rising? But something is about to birth. And uh, that's the whole thing up at the Revelation 12. And that's the mystery of it. So that's about it and uh i'll let you know if i get any more insight on that if you do let me know as well god bless you guys thank you for watching please subscribe to us on youtube if you like donate to us visit home on the page paypal